Pat and Deanna. I'm Michael. And I'm Fred. And you're watching Word, Word of, of Mouth. Mouth. Leave him alone. Oh, oh, now I'm picking on him. Leave him alone. What's he doing here? He came in. He found a nickel. Oh, hey, that's fantastic. <laughs> you want to see it? Yes, please let me see it. Just saw American Buffalo by David Mamet. American Buffalo is set in a store. It's like um, the whole entire set is this store, and it's a junk store. And um, I guess when I, when, when I first got into the theater, it kind of reminded me of like Sanford and Son. Donnie is played by Cedric the Entertainer, and he's the owner of this, of this junk shop where the play takes place. He's sort of a, a father figure to Bobby, who's played by Haley Joe Osmond and is also friends with Teach, who's played by John Guzamo. So a guy comes in and buys a American Buffalo, or a Buffalo nickel from Donnie at the junk shop, and Donnie thinks he sold it for it like he got scammed. Donnie has realized, given how much the person has paid for it, that it's probably worth even more, and so they start to scheme about how to get it back. The whole plot is them going through and trying to figure out the best way to rob this guy and how much money they're going to get and, um, you know, how to pull off this scheme. You can definitely get a sense that um, Donnie is kind of the father figure and kind of looking after Bobby. Bobby, as played by Heli Joel Osment, is a sort of um, kind of rough and tumble kid who is um, seems a little bit lost and um, is kind of a goof and run, run errands, runs errands for Donnie and then kind of gets caught into this little heist caper that they're planning. Teach comes in and he is just ranting and raving about uh, this girl. Um, and this girl really pissed him off and he just goes on and on about it. Then Teach comes in like all ablaze and saying the F word 50 million times and again really livens up the play at that point. He comes in and really drives a lot of the action and the decision making and tries to really pushes, pushes Donnie to go, sort of go after this buffalo nickel and he considers himself the brains of the operation, but I don't, I don't know if the rest of us think that. If you told me like, okay, there's gonna be this new Broadway play and it stars John Leguizamo, Cedric the Entertainer, and Haley Joel Osment, I would think that were you yanking my chain. Like, you yeah, are right. <laughs> Who would ever throw those three together? So it's a little odd, right? And it's a three-person play, so that's it. That's what you get on stage. I, I'm a pretty big fan of John Leguizamo and I feel like he, He's sort of the, I guess, the, you know, the veteran on stage of the three of them, and I think it probably shows through. He's much more comfortable and natural, I think, and so that really comes through, and I think this, he plays this character well. I thought he did a great job um, with this character. I felt like he was the most believable of all the three. John Leguizamo was probably the best thing in the play. He definitely, like I said, raises the bar of energy whenever he's on stage. You miss him when he's not there. I thought Cedric the Entertainer did a really good job. When I, when I got the information about the show, I was kind of like, hmm, Cedric the Entertainer? He's a comedian. I didn't know he could act. So I didn't have that maybe high standards for him, but I thought he did a really good job in this role. I definitely bought into him as this paternal figure and this you know, in this boy's life and things like that. And so I believed his character. Um, I but it, it, I just think he, he just he needs a little bit more time under his belt. Haley Joel Osment, bless his heart. I mean, you certainly root for the guy. I mean, obviously, he's one of those people that maybe pe peaked at age 11. He, uh, you know, won virtually every major film award for The Sixth Sense. You just want him to do better. And it's just kind of a thankless role. And he just, I don't know, it just didn't cut it for me. I'm a little bit worried that he's stuck in this uh, sort of the Doogie Howser world where he's, so, he's always going to be the I See Dead People kid. Um, I think he was good. Like, I think I just feel like I look at him and I see that kid. Um, and so, you know, I feel like I, I'm not sure if this role is, is his breakthrough role. He didn't have a lot of expression in his face. Um, I, I didn't even, I couldn't tell when he was really upset or versus when he was just, you know, kind of talking with Donnie. So I didn't really see a lot of um, variance in his acting. Against John Leguizamo and Cedric and the Entertainer who were so solid on stage, you just felt he might have been a little in over his head. There's lots of sharp lines, and John Leguizamo's character in particular has a lot. He says just whatever pops into his mind, and so he uses a lot of colorful language and talks very explicitly about the people in, in his life and what he thinks about them. And so with that comes, comes some, some funny moments. I did like 
I, I did enjoy kind of the dialogue and I thought it was funny so I, I was my, I, my it held my attention but I, I didn't really care if they got the coin or they didn't. I mean, I guess that's really how I felt. Well, the whole thing is about a nickel, you know, stealing this nickel that may or may not be a value. And there's, you know, like, who cares? I just did not care about any of the characters. And, you know, other mammoth plays where there's like a, there's a con game or, you know, something like that, and there's a lot of intrigue. It had none of that. It was just sort of like, I kept waiting for the, something to happen and, and it just never did. It wasn't anything that I was interested in. Um, you know, the same thing if it was a movie, I'd, I probably wouldn't go see it. I'm not sure that I would, that I would recommend American Buffalo to my friends. I think, you know, I think there were good, good pieces of it and I think there were good aspects of it, but overall it wasn't, you know, a plot that I really got into or, you know, a characters that I found really sympathetic and so it wasn't one that I think that I would, I would recommend to them. I'm the guy that t tends to like everything, but I can honestly say that if someone were looking to see a show on Broadway, I would not recommend this. I would not tell anyone to see this. I can't imagine a single person that I'd say, oh, you're going to love this, um, because I think there's better stuff. If you want to see Mammoth on Broadway, go see Speed the Plow. I would really tell my, my guy friends to go see that, my straight guy friends. <laughs> the two. <laughs> you are not paying me to do a thing here. We're doing something together. I know we are. My watch broke. That's my concern. The thing is you're in my concern and the concern of Fletcher. You want to you find a reason why we should jump all over each other all of a sudden like you work at a blood bank? Fine. But it's not good business.